the Italian-Turkish War, when Libya becomes an arena for disputes? Italy and Libya, are two countries occupying different continents. Despite being on different continents, the two countries are by the Mediterranean Sea. Italy in the past, had ambitions to make Libya, a part of its territory. As a result of this ambition, the Italian-Turkish War broke out. The Italian-Turkish War, was a war that clashed the kingdom, of Italy with the Ottoman Empire. The war that lasted, from 1911 to 1912 occurred, because Italy wanted to seize the territory of Libya, which at that time, had the status of Ottoman territory. After the war, Italy managed to become, the new owner, of Libya for the next decades. This war, is also famous because in this war, for the first time, aircraft were used, to carry out air attacks, and flown at night. Since the 15th century, European countries sought as many colonies, as possible on other continents. Italy is one of the countries, that are late, to follow this trend, because the country was only formed in 1861, after the unification by the Kingdom of Sardinia. The African continent, is seen as a target, for regional expansion considering, its location is not far from Italy, when compared to other continents. Libya, became the main target of Italy, to be conquered. The ambition to control Libya also reeks of history, because the ancient Roman territory in the past, had indeed covered the northern coast of Africa. Libya at that time, was still an area of the Ottoman Sultanate, of Turkey under the name, Vilea Tripolitania. Italy felt confident that it could control Tripolitania, because the Ottomans, had just lost their war against Russia. In 1902 Italy held talks, with the European superpowers, such as France and England, which at that time were, in control of Morocco and Egypt. On July 1, 1911, Germany sent the battleship Panther, to Agadir, Morocco. Because of the conflict, for influence with France, Germany's actions still made Italy feel stung. Italy is suspicious that the Tripolitania region, will also be targeted by Germany. Moreover, at the same time, the German company joint venture was in talks with the Ottomans to invest in Tripolitania. Italy is worried that this moment, will be used as a stepping stone, by Germany, to completely dominate Tripolitania. In the same month, the Italian government filed a protest, an accusation against the Ottoman government, that its citizens living in Tripolitania, were treated unfairly. On September 25, Italy accused the Ottomans, of showing a hostile attitude, in the midst of strained relations, between the two countries. On 28 of September, Italy announced it was sending its military to Tripolitania. This statement also marked the beginning, of the Italian-Ottoman War. The Italian naval fleet blocks the northern coast, of Tripolitania. Italy thought that this invasion the Ottomans only had less than 10,000 troops in Tripolitania, while Italy deployed more than 44,000. On October 2, Italy requested that the Ottomans surrender immediately, while firing their ship's cannons at the city of Tripoli. Because the Italian ships had a longer firing range, than the Ottoman land guns, the Ottoman troops were forced, to retreat to the interior, and let the Italians take control of the coast. Some of Tripoli's civilians also fled their cities. When Italian troops landed, in Tripoli on October 4, they encountered no resistance at all. A number of Arab aristocrats, chose to stay in the city, and declare their allegiance to Italy. Arab noblemen, who chose to ally with Italy was Hassuna Pasha. After Tripoli was captured, the Italian troops then continued their conquests, to other cities which were also located, on the coast such as Derna, Homs, Tobruk, and Benghazi. On October 20, the coast of Tripolitania, was occupied by the Italians except for Benghazi. But the Italians did not know that, the Ottomans withdrew not, because they had thrown in the towel. They retreated out, of the city in order to gather sufficient strength, while waiting for reinforcements from Turkey, to launch a counterattack. Ottoman troops in Tripolitania received assistance, from Arab militias who did not want to be under Italian control. On 23rd of October, the joint forces, of the two made a surprise attack on Tripoli. However, the attack was contained, and the Ottoman troops were forced to withdraw on 26th of October. Italian troops were superior, in terms of weapons, the rebellion was suppressed quickly. 
Over the next four days, Italian troops also carried out house-to-house -house searches. Italian troops also carried out military operations to the Spring Oasis, in the middle of the desert not far from Tripoli, and used by pro-Ottoman troops for camping. As a result, they managed to capture thousands of Arab militias. A total of 2,500 of them were then exiled to the islands of Tremiti and Ustica in Italy. On 29-30 of October, the Italian fleet led by Duke Abruzzi managed to sink two Ottoman torpedo boats in the Adriatic Sea, east of Italy. Fighting at the site did not continue any further after Austro-Hungarian representatives whose territory was not far from the site of the battle protested against Italian action. Italy was forced to obey because Austria-Hungary was an ally of Germany, one of the countries with the strongest military in Europe at that time. On November 1st, Italian pilot Giulio Gavati was sent by his commander to carry out an air raid on the Ottoman army encampment in the oasis of Ain Zara, east of Tripoli. Gavati managed to drop four bombs weighing 1.5 kilograms. Although Gavati could see puffs of smoke from the site where the bomb fell, he was not sure if any enemy soldiers had died in the attack. This event is still remembered as a very important event in the history of aerospace. Because for the first time, the plane was used to drop bombs on the battlefield. A year later or to be precise on March 4, 1912, Gavadi again listed his name in the history books when he became the first pilot to perform a flight mission at night. On November 5, 1911, the Italian government officially declared Vilea Tripolitania as its new territory and changed its name to Libya Italiana, Italian Libya. The Italian troops then shifted their focus outside of Africa. On February 27, 1912, Italian troops sank two Ottoman ships in the port of Beirut. On April 18, Italian warships destroyed Ottoman coastal cannons in the Dardanelles Strait separating the continents of Asia and Europe. Entering May, it was the turn of the Dodecanese Islands in the Aegean Sea to be the target of occupation by Italian troops. At the end of September, Italian and Ottoman forces engaged in heavy fighting in Zanzur, west of Tripoli. As a result of the battle, the Ottoman stronghold had to lose more than 1,000 soldiers. In October, the Balkans suddenly declared war on the Ottomans, sparking the First Balkan War. Feeling overwhelmed, if they have to fight on many fronts at once, the Ottomans decided to soften and carry out peace talks with Italy. On October 18, 1912, Italian and Ottoman representatives signed a peace treaty in Lausanne, Switzerland. Under this peace treaty, the Ottomans agreed to let Italy take control of Tripolitania. But the Ottomans were still allowed to assign representatives to take care of matters in the religious field. The Dodecanese Islands remained under Italian control before being handed over to Greece in 1947. With this peace treaty reached, the Italian Turkish War officially ended, with Italy's success in controlling Tripolitania and the loss of the last Ottoman territories in Africa. In 1931, the rebellion by local militias was suppressed after Italian troops arrested and executed Omar al Mukhtar as the leader of the Libyan resistance movement. After this war, the Ottomans again suffered defeat in the First Balkan War and had to lose almost all of their territory on the European continent. When World War I erupted, in 1914-1918, the Ottomans were again the losers, and had to let the Allied countries occupy their territories. The Allied forces were eventually expelled by the Turkish nationalists. But instead of trying to revive the Ottomans, they chose to dissolve the Sultanate, in 1922, and replace it with a republican system. Thanks for watching till the end. See you next time.